Is that all we have? The girls come in in their silver spoon costumes, and something's just not right. I have two pink, two blue, and one green. Go to your formation, let's see. There's five girls in the dance. There's two pink costumes, two blue costumes, and one green. So obviously the girl wearing the green is going to stand out, and that was Paige. And apparently, that couldn't happen. Paige, put the pink on that your sister has on. The pink is too oh, big. Oh, the pink is too big. Way too big. It's like a large. Yeah. The green one's the right size for her. But it's Paige. She doesn't matter. Paige, turn around. Let me see that on you. What size is yours? I'm not fixing that costume. Chloe and Brooke switch. So the obvious choice was to take Chloe, who starts the routine stage left all by herself, and put her in the different color. She has to wear the green dress. And the green doesn't fit Chloe either. It's too small. Yeah. No, but she'll have one wear a costume too big and one wear a costume too small, just so my daughter doesn't stick out. I don't know what these moms would do if they didn't have something to complain about. I'm so glad that Abby didn't give Maddie that green costume, or I know those moms would go ballistic. So ideally, we needed like three and two or all the same color. All right, that looks the best. Abby switched my costume with Chloe's, and I'm a little bit upset, but now the problem is my costume doesn't fit, and it's kind of falling down. Of course, Kit Paige can't stand out. Well, I thought it was nice that she did stand out. Yeah, so did I. So Abby would rather two girls go on stage in costumes that don't fit rather than have my daughter stand out. Why? Well, hey, it's too small. I kind of want to trade back dresses so that Paige can finally have the special part and so that I have a dress that fits me and that fits her. I, I really think it would have been nice if Paige could have kept the green. That's what I wanted her to do. I, I don't know how Abby expects to meet these two studios that are coming to beat us. Our costumes are ugly, the spoon is too small, the dance is doomed. <laughs> and I'm tired of fighting with her. I'm not fighting with her over a pink or a green costume. Either she can get you a costume that fits, or you'll wear the one that does not fit. I don't know how much longer I can take this to have a dance teacher, like, sabotage and... Honestly, I don't know how much more of Abby trying to sabotage the group numbers I can take, but I know she's just switching Paige's costume to hurt me, and you know what? It worked. That woman is just evil. She is an evil person. It's making me sick. OK, ladies, we're going to go for the group. Moms, we need to get the hair done. Now well, Paige gets to put her big costume on. It's unfortunate, because I thought the green looked great on her. Me too, you know. Paige has to put on a dress that is two sizes too big for her just because Abby doesn't want her to stand out in the group. Yeah, it's just a little big there. It's big. Oh, well, it worked. Both girls are wearing costumes that don't fit. It just doesn't make any sense. Make a big deal out of the spin. Smile, shoulders down. I just don't know how much more I can take of Abby. I have had it with her. Brooke's putting her hand in. That's a valiant effort. One, One, two, three. three. The girls are gorgeous in their costumes. The spoon has a bow on it. We just have to hope and pray that this number comes across the way I want it to. Judges, please welcome to the stage entry number 53, Silver Spoon. <laughs> I don't care what those mothers think. I think this is a winner. From a judging point, I think it was a breath of fresh air. I think the routine was light and pretty and certainly different than anything I saw. Do the judges think so? I don't know. We have the Energy Junior Small Group Top 3 Awards. In third place, we have entry number 121, Party. And our second place, entry
entry number 53, Silver Spoons. And our top energy junior small group goes to entry number 131, Dream Girls. The studios who made the trip just to beat our girls, it was a trip well worth it. They beat us hands down. So that group, they brought that trio, and then they brought a junior small group to compete against Silver Spoons, and they brought three junior solos. They're here to beat us. Girls, last week, you won. Today, studios came specifically to beat the Abbey the Dance Company, and they did just that. You win, and then you don't have to work anymore because you think you're winners. These girls are not behaving like we're at a competition. I don't know what's going on with them, but they better start behaving like competitors. Girls, this is so sloppy, you might as well hand the other teams the trophies. Maddie, Mia, Mackenzie, you all have solos. If you're aiming for second, save yourself the aggravation, save me the time. Get it? Is there anything else you could have barked at before to laugh? Because there's nothing wrong with second place. The junior elite competition team is doing a very important piece this week. It's called America Gone. Now, America has always been the country that with hard work and determination, you can live the American dream. But are kids these days working hard, or do they just expect everything to be handed to them? And are the kids on my elite team the same way? Do they have the same work ethic that they had four years ago? Good, Jade. I like that. It's beautiful. Oh, Abby's all chipper. Happy as a clam. Of course she is. And she got rid of Chloe. She put Jane on the team. Like, she's loving life down there with this group. Ladies, I've been thinking about nationals. I have to see what everybody does on stage today. We're going to nationals to win, and I need to put the best dancers on that stage. Got it? Break a leg. May the best team win. Today might be the most important group performance that Chloe has had in a long time. Because if she doesn't go out there and nail this, Abby's going to blame her. Please help me welcome first place. Christie's moping and complaining all week, I thought the select team would come on stage, do a couple twirls, and run off. Their dance was lovely, and Chloe looked great. But our dance will be better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on our Believe stage, please welcome entry number 42. This is America Gone. These girls have so much riding on them. And if they don't win, I don't know what's going to happen with nationals.
Both groups had great performances. All the kids looked great in their costumes. Nobody flubbed up. This is going to be a tight race. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any closer than this. One tenth of a point separates the difference between our second place winner and first place. Ladies and gentlemen, second place, 9 to 11, regional small group champion will be. America Gone, number 42. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your overall 9 to 11 small group regional champion today will be first, ladies, entry number 41. I can't believe we've gone up against a select team three times, and we've lost all three times. Things obviously are not looking good for us for nationals. All right, Nia, you're up first. You're cooking. You need attitude out the wazoo. She makes a statement when she enters the room. You need to make a statement when you step on that stage. OK, show me what you have. Nia is doing a jazz routine. It's based on the character Cookie on that show, Empire. Now, if you watch Empire, she's sassy and sharp and strong. She is over the top. And that's what I need Nia to be. I love the idea behind it. I see a lot of strutting. I see a lot of attitude. I see a lot of, you know, performance. Do I see a lot of dance content that would be teen appropriate? I can't say I see that. A jazz solo for a teen division probably is not a winning number. Like, give her something that's competitive. Yes. Step to second, face the wall with your rear end to the back and work. Are you serious? If Abby thinks twerking is appropriate for a dance competition, she needs her head examined. Go up and down. Boom, and it's up and back. Face that way. No. But she, Cookie is wild. She just doesn't want to do it. I can't make my students want to be better. They have to want it for themselves. How is Nia ever going to catch up to Maddie? You have to take the risk. You have to gamble in life. Nia, Kendall, and Kinsey all have solos today. And with everything going off Abby and her legal problems, she's been treating the girls differently. She's been yelling at Kinsey, sucking up to Kendall, who has beautiful choreography and professional makeup. And Abby basically gave up on Nia's choreography when Nia refused to twerk in her routine. Kendall comes in, and she has this old-looking face like her grandma. And I can read the tension and the stress on her face. Kendall is just not happy. What can I do for you? Want to get this dance over? OK. Shh. You own it, and you win. It's amazing. This stuff looks different from far away than close up. Let's not cause drama over it. I want you to focus on your dance and your knees and your feet. But Abby, put her on stage in an ugly old face and think that's going to make her feel good about herself? Come here. Take it off. And I think you should get out there and dance like you've never danced before. I am in disbelief. I mean, Nia's worn latex makeup. Do you think Nia felt pretty? Not so much. When do you ever, as a dancer, get to dictate the costuming? I think I will do whatever it takes just to spite Melissa. Come on, girls, I need you up here. Now, remember, you guys are going to stand there and be critiqued. So it's important that you go out there, and you're amazing. OK, let's go. Please welcome Nia to the stage, number 400, Dancing to Cookie. Abby made it clear whoever gets the highest score will have a solo next week. Nia's choreography isn't as strong as the other girls. But if Nia can pull off the sass of Cookie from Empire, then she might just have a chance of a solo next week. 
You definitely work to facility. Good job. Keep pushing. Keep working. Well done. All right, our top teen soloist. Third place. Crazy Swing, Katrine Rhythmic Academy. Second place teen solo. Cookie. Mia came in second place in the teen division with a jazz solo that probably really shouldn't have been in the teen division. I'm happy. This is season six. There should be a first place winner all the time. We did not have a first place solo. So, if I'm reading this correctly, Nia, you had a score of 292. Mackenzie, you had a score of 295.5. Kendall, you had a score of 295.7. So you are doing the solo next week. Nia placed second, and Kendall came in third. We don't have a competitive solo. You're not going to get but so many points. It's impossible. Kendall had a solo that was designed to win. 